check out this is the tracker here it's just a camera which is pointing down and the tracking works really really well yeah, yeah, well, well. And I'm here with Andre from Anti Latency. Hi, thanks so much for your time. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to learn all about Anti Latency. So, Anti Latency is a tracking system for VR. Yeah, actually. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, actually, it's a um, uh, positional tracking system uh, for VR, but uh, you can also use it not on, uh, only in VR, but in AR, in uh, indoor uh, positional tracking. So, but uh, now, focus now on VR. Okay. So, uh, what is the difference uh, of your system as compared to lighthouse tracking or all these other optical tracking systems? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in our system, uh, we use uh, inside-out approach. Uh, so, we okay. have a very small uh, tracking device, um, and you can put this device uh, to any objects. You can put it on uh, your headset. You can put it on key points of your body to implement full body tracking on your arms, on your legs. Uh, and uh, uh, our um, uh, technology also needs uh, infrared LEDs uh, on the floor. You can see okay. these uh, black dots. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, our um, uh, sensor is guided by these uh, infrared dots. Okay. And uh, in our technology, we use a sensor fusion approach when we combine together optical data and inertial data. Okay, great. Um, so. Um, we have a big play space here right now on VR days. And you only need to position these little LED lights wherever you want the tracking to happen. Yeah, and uh, actually... On the, on, on the floor. Yeah, yeah that's uh, everything you need. And actually, it's not uh, a big space because okay. uh, with our technology, you can extend your tracking area up to 10,000 square meters. 10,000 square meters? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And uh, our approach for scaling is uh, very cost effective because we need just to add more and more cheap LEDs uh, to, to make your tracking area bigger and bigger. Cool. So you don't need uh, any um, pricey cameras. Uh, so just put more LEDs and you are nice. everything you need. So um, how would you use it? Can you? put your sensor on the Oculus Go and then simply put some of these LEDs on the floor and then you have like positional tracking for the Oculus Go or how, how uh, it works? Yeah, work? yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right. So you can use it with any VR headset. Uh, so you can use it with uh, uh, standalone solutions like Oculus Go, like uh, Vive Focus, uh, like Pico Goblin. And uh, okay. you can also use it with a uh, backpack and uh, headsets like uh, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. Uh, if you need uh, uh, full body tracking. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. I'm going to. I'm looking forward to try it out. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to? To who are you going to sell this? Is it uh, you want to uh, sell this to the end consumer, or I do want to sell it to some location-based VR arcades, or who's yeah, yeah, yeah. your customer? So, uh, our customers. So our focus is uh, exactly location-based entertainment, uh, VR arcades, okay. uh, and. Uh, we are not uh, focusing on consumer market, okay. uh, so we are yeah, all focused on B2B and uh, uh, for location-based entertainment we can uh, uh, offer a really uh, cost-effective solution for big spaces. So nice. if, you, if you would like to implement multi-user arena, so just use our system. Cool. So if I have like a big old warehouse and I want to make it the cool VR arcade, I would yeah. just find you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, let's, say, okay, um, let's say I have like... Um, Thousand square meter warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thousand square meters, and yeah. I, I want to make it the VR arcade now. Yeah. How expensive is it? I want to have the whole thing with your LEDs mm -hmm. and like I don't know, like ten headsets. So actually, uh, our equipment costs are uh, one hundred USD per tracker, our tracking device. And for tracking area, so uh, uh, all this stuff, I mean infrared LEDs, uh, floor mats, uh, and everything you need. It's 25 USD per square meter. 25 US dollar per square meter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can that's, calculate it. It's, yeah. that's okay. It's not so expensive. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, and then, um, how would I implement that into my games? So we have uh, SDKs oh, so for, <laughs> yeah, for Unity, <laughs> for Unreal Engine. Okay. So, so just, uh, yeah, just put uh, our assets in, the, uh, in your game and that no is problem. it. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So, um, 
can, is this already finished? Are you live now? Can I buy this if I want to? Um, uh, go so, uh, no. So uh, you can buy it uh, in November, December. In November, December. Yeah. yeah. So it's already um, very close to, mar to market. Yeah. Nice. And I think it's very exciting because location-based VR is on the rise, right? Like lots of people yeah, yeah. Uh, love it now, right? I yeah, mean, it's a driver for the whole VR industry. Really, now. right? It's yeah, like, yeah. like the Void and all these other things, mm -hmm. and it's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Are you also going to make your own um, location-based VR uh, experience just to show off your technology? Or uh, so actually, we are hardware vendor, and uh, we are not going to open our own locations, okay. but. Uh, we are building partnership with the um, uh, LBE fran franchise, uh, okay. yeah, so to uh, work with them. Nice. Where are you guys located? Uh, from Russia. Cool. That's incredible. Where, where, where in Russia are you? Uh, so it's Voronezh. It's near Moscow. Okay. Great. Wow. Yeah. I was never in Russia. So perhaps I can <laughs> visit those guys one day. <laughs> I'm inviting you to Russia. <laughs> that yeah. would be so awesome. Okay. Um, do you really uh, like uh, in Russia? Um, do you have a nice uh, VR system there? I mean, lots of other uh, VR startups. Is there a, a VR ecosystem? So actually, yes, we have uh, also um, uh, a lot of uh, LB locations in Russia. Okay. And uh, here on uh, this uh, exhibition, I think that one third companies it's from Russia oh, and really? uh, yeah, Belarus. So it's okay. really a lot it's of huge. Uh, yeah? yeah, yeah. And uh, in uh, Russia, you can find a lot of really good VR startups. Nice. And in Russia, um, what is um, the, the main hardware people use? Also the same like in the West, right? Also it's like Vive Pro, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah, so there, all there is, there is no, nothing no special. All the yeah, same yeah, things, yeah. Right? So, yeah, we have uh, all these uh, devices available in market, yeah, so there is no any uh, restrictions, so yeah. And, uh, wow, yeah. yeah, I would be really excited to check out Russian ecosystem. Yeah, probably one time I can check it out. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. But now I would love to check out your tracking. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Thank you. you can see around there. Check out, this is the tracker here. It's just a camera which is pointing down and the tracking works really, really well. Okay, so now I'm wearing the, the Vive and I'm having this machine gun. And the interesting thing is, there are no base stations now. So everything is tracked by this little uh, device here, which is looking down, it's an out tracking. And I'm looking at those LEDs here that you can see on the bot on the ground. If you, could have, if you could have a look at the LEDs on the ground. And actually the tracking is perfect. So if you would like to do some kind of cool location-based arcade, with this system you could easily do it and it only costs $25 per square meter. Which is pretty pretty awesome. So I can just say this is uh, this positional tracking system is pretty amazing and for a very low price so i think lots of location-based services and businesses might be very excited about anti-latency positional tracking for vr